Hello and welcome to another CryptoNation video tutorial. Today we'll be setting up the Freenet Message System, also known as FMS. One of the advantages of using FMS instead of Frost is less spam. Before we get started, please note while setting up FMS isn't difficult, patience is required. FMS will initially need to run for a number of hours before you become announced. Once your identity has been seen, you'll only need to re-announce yourself if you create a new identity or if you don't connect often enough and are removed from trust lists and become unannounced. For this tutorial, I believe it took a little over 12 hours to become announced. Because it can take so long, you may wish to download this video instead of needing to stream it multiple times. You can download the 720p version of this video from www.cryptonation.com. For this tutorial, you'll need to have Freenet running and be connected to other nodes. If you haven't already installed Freenet and need help setting up Freenet, please go to www.cryptonation.com and watch the tutorial on setting up Freenet for your operating system. Open your browser and go to the Freenet web interface. Click on the Freenet message system link. When the FMS free site loads, click download. If you're using Windows, download the Windows binary and the Windows runtime files. For this video, I'll be downloading the Linux binary as I'm currently running Ubuntu. Please note that when I recorded the install process for FMS, it was version 0.3.56. As of April 2011, the latest version is 0.3.58. After FMS has downloaded, you can click the checkbox to the left of it and then click Remove Files from List. Don't worry, this won't delete the file. Let's get the FMS zip file and put it on our desktop. Because there are two zip files for Windows, I've included a short video. For Windows XP, the files have been downloaded to C, Documents and Settings, Your Username, Application Data, Freenet, and Downloads. For Windows Vista and Windows 7, the files have been downloaded to C, Users, Your Username, App Data, Local, Freenet, and Downloads. I've already copied both files to my desktop and extracted each. To run FMS, simply open the folder you extracted it to, then double-click the FMS application file. If you received a DLL error, open the folder containing the runtime files. Then copy all the files from this folder into the folder containing FMS. Now double click and run the FMS application file. In Windows, FMS will start the service in a command window. You can minimize this if you want. FMS has also created a database file. Once FMS is running, open your Freenet web interface and replace port 8888 with 8080, then press enter. All right, now back to Ubuntu. Go to Places, Home Folder. Then go to the Freenet folder. Then the Downloads folder. Click and drag the FMS zip file to your desktop. Go ahead and extract the files. Open the FMS folder and double click the FMS application file. Unlike Windows, FMS has created a service in the background, and there is no terminal window. However, just like Windows, FMS has created a database file. Once FMS is running, open your Freenet web interface and replace port 8888 with 8080, then press Enter. To get started using FMS, we need to create an identity, so let's click the Create Identity link. Please note, if you want to remain anonymous on FMS, you should create an identity that you don't use anywhere else on or offline and no one knows you by. There are some users who use names linked to them. For example, one of the main developers for Freenet goes by Toad. For this video, I'm going to create an identity called Test User. Once you've typed in your identity name, click the Create button. Let's check on the status of our new identity. Click the Local Identities link. While we're on this screen, let's export a backup of our identity. 
This will allow you to transfer your identity to another Freenet node or another instance of FMS. This also allows you to recover and use your identity if your FMS database ever becomes corrupt. From this screen, we can also see if we've been announced. You'll notice that the Announced column says No. We need to announce our new identity. Click the Announce Identity link in the menu. This is the point in setting up FMS that takes patience. I suggest you pause this video and let FMS run for a few hours to download CAPTCHAs. Once you have enough CAPTCHAs to solve, go ahead and type in the answer to each one. Please note, for the images, you need to type in the singular form, not the plural. For instance, this image has a different panel in slot 3. The object in this panel is a bird. Each of the other panels contains a cat, singular, not cats, plural. After you type in each answer, scroll down and click the Announce button. While we wait for FMS to announce our identity, let's take a quick look at the Board Maintenance page. Click on the Board Maintenance link in the menu. From this page, you select which messages to save and which forums show up while you browse through FMS. To enable or disable a forum, simply check or uncheck the checkbox. The same goes for choosing which messages you want FMS to save. When you're finished, scroll down and click the Update button. At this point, I suggest you pause this video and let FMS run for a few hours to try and announce your identity. Okay, it's been a few hours. Let's check the status of our identity. As you can see, the Announce column now says yes and has the number 1. Our identity has been announced to another identity and we should now be able to post. Click the Browse Forums link. Then click the Test Forums link. Now click New Post. From the drop-down, select the identity you want to post as. Type in a subject and a message. When finished, scroll down and click Send. At the top of the page, click the Home button. As you can see, we have one message waiting to be inserted. For more details, click Show Messages. When done, click the Home link. If you refresh in a few minutes, your message should be sent. If, however, your message is still waiting, don't worry. Sometimes inserting a message can take a while. If it's been several hours and you think something is wrong, make sure you're still connected to Freenet. You can optionally go back to Show Messages, delete the inserted message, and try to post a new one. Let's take a look at our inserted messages. Click the Show link. If our message subject was in italic, it would mean our message was inserted, but we haven't downloaded it yet. Because our message subject isn't in italic, we have downloaded our message and should be able to see it in the test board. Click the Browse Forums link. Then click the Test Forums link. And there it is, our test message. As you can see, we also have a reply. To view it, click the subject line. Just like a normal forum, our message is on top and each reply falls below it. Let's go back to the home page. To look at and set your peer trust, click the peer trust link. As you use FMS, you'll determine which identities you trust. You can set the local message trust, how much you trust this user, for example, not to spam, as well as setting the local trust list trust, how much you trust their opinion of other users. Peer Message Trust and Peer Trust List Trust, say that five times fast, are calculated from the identities you trust the opinion of. The full definitions of these fields can be found in the Operations section of the FMS Free Site. On this page, you can also search for specific users. For example, if I search for the name Sum, the identity Sum Dude is returned. Sum Dude is the developer of FMS and, as you can see, has a high trust rating. If we search again for the name Seek, the identity of the Seeker is returned. This identity is often in the Freenet and Freetalk forums and also has a high trust rating. If you like these video tutorials, please consider following us on Twitter at CryptoNation for future updates. Thank you for watching this video tutorial. I hope you found it useful.